Welcome back to HemiDroids.net. Um, today I'm going to have a look at WeatherBug Elite. As you can see there, there's a few different weather apps I've been looking at. There should be an article, hopefully by the time you see this, on HemiDroids.net. So head over there and have a look at sort of a bit of a summary of the variety of different apps that are available. This is a paid app. It's uh, one pound twenty-four on the market, so it's not much, um, and it's a well presented. It's one of the most popular uh, weather apps that there is. I don't personally. I don't think it's the best, but it's just nicely presented. It's got lots of useful information. There's not much interaction. I find it annoying. I have to scroll just for sort of like one line, but I guess that's part of the Android thing in that it has to cope for a variety of different screens. It's not built for this screen, so. I just got to deal with it. Now you can slide side to side to change your location at the top there. So, oh. oh, I don't know how I did that. Maybe I did a catch something on the bottom. So I don't know why I can't change location by doing that. But I've done that again. I think it's changed. Is it changing the bottom? Anyway, so along the bottom we get um, the different kind of uh, views. Let's go back to London. Good old, good old Barnet and it's rain. Um, so along the bottom, get the different views. Like this is the whole next week. Get the satellite view. So I think no, it's got a play. I don't understand this, but it's got a, like a play button. But I can't do anything. I go into settings. I don't think there's a. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't get it. Whoa! What did I do? Did I, I move it? I think. So yeah, kind of odd. There's a play button, but it doesn't play. There is no camera image for this location at this time. Fine. That's a bit of a kind of a summary of everything, really. Uh, where did I get to? Pollen data near the in the US. Then we got the National Outlook. For Taking nation. a look at some of the live conditions here across parts of Pennsylvania, Kane area, looking at. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Not much use. Oopsie. Hello. Not much use uh, to me. Any alerts? And then what's that? Just information about it, I suppose. So it's a, it's a nice enough presented app. There are some widgets which I have demonstrated here. So I call it this widget. I don't think I've seen another weather app with an actual sort of uh, radar view as a widget which you can tap to update. It's a shame it doesn't have a little point for where you are just so you, you know give you some uh, what's the word relevance no anyway whatever. Um, then we get a sort of medium widget, a small widget and a large widget I suppose effectively. None of them are particularly interactive you just tap on it and off you go into the app. Um, so it's not a bad app. It's well presented. It's, it has got the radar view widget, which is which is a plus. But personally, I think there are better things. Oh, and I've got I think is that is that, or is that a different app? No, this is it. Weather bug. So it gives you the temperature up in the notification bar, which I don't particularly want to be honest. Um, oh, full screen lock. Can I do? Yeah, I'm not. No, oh, why is my options gone there now? Can't do anything now. <laughs> Exit full screen, never mind. Um, hang on, so full screen, it just it leaves that blank. You could have put the menu bar still in there. Why? Why would you do that? Anyway, okay, alright, so I'm decided I'm not a massive fan of Weatherbug. Um, preferences as well, so obviously we get to set whatever we want. Battery monitoring. Okay, oh, well, that's quite clever. Uh, yeah, all the usual stuff you would expect to see in there. So, if you did want to spend the 125, but do have a look at some of my other videos because I personally I think there's some better weather apps out there. But there it is, Weatherbug Elite. Sorry, this one is one pound twenty-five in the marketplace. My name's Andy. Hemadroids.net.